Hey, Scott Sambucci here coming to you from my garage. And uh, today's question that I want to ask you is, um, are you putting yourself first? Uh, self with a capital S. And uh, let, me, let me explain a little bit by what I mean. So um, one of the things that we do with our clients every three months is we get together for what's called a client intensive. And it's a, it's a time where we do heavy work on sales playbooks and personas and uh, handling objections and all the stuff that goes, managing teams, quotas, all that stuff. And um, in that two days, one of the sessions, one of the modules, if you will, that where we get the best, the, like the most positive feedback is a session where we sit down and we ask uh, everybody in the room to just sit down and ask themselves and write this down, like who, who do they want to become? What, are the, what is the kind of person that they want to be? What is the kind of person that they are? What are their objectives and goals for themselves over the next three months or six months? And the reason that we get such good feedback for this is because so rarely do any of us like really sit down and one, do we really think about what is the thing that we want to do? And it doesn't have to be the 10 year goal to you know be a millionaire or have a big house or have a big family or all those big year things, but just like, what about the next three months? What, are the, what about the next six months? What are some of the things that we really, really want to do? And two, are we really making the time to, to do that? Are we really putting ourself, capital S, first when it comes to reaching those outcomes? And as a leader in your company, whether you're a CEO or a sales leader or a CTO, a co-founder, whatever that is, there's such a, you have such an opportunity to impact your team around you by you putting yourself first. Like the, the company stuff, yeah, we're, we're a startup and we gotta grind. We gotta work long hours. We gotta do late night sprints. We gotta bang the phones and do demos and go to conferences and do all of those things. But as a leader of the company, if, if you're not putting yourself first, you're missing out on a huge opportunity to set the example for the team around you. They're, they're looking for you for leadership, not just in the company, not just to get funding, not just to tell them what they should be selling and how to sell, not just to think about the, the vision for the product. They're looking to you as a person, as a leader, to help them become who they want to be. They're following you, not just in their business life, they're following you on, on your personal life too. And the more, that we as, as, as leaders of ourselves can show to people around us like, yeah, we've got the startup and yeah, we got to worry about funding and product and customers and revenue and all those things. But man, on the side, I'm going to put myself first. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to have date night with my partner or my spouse every Friday night, like putting yourself and your family first, or like every Sunday, we're just no digital, no work, taking a complete free day and telling your team to do the same. Put it away, put yourself first guys, because I'm gonna put myself first. Um, if you always wanted to, to do that 10K, like, like hey, tell them, hey, hey, I'm signing up for this 10K, I just wanna let you guys know, because on Tuesday and Thursday morning, I'm gonna be coming into work at nine o'clock instead of 7.30, because that's the time after I drop my son off or my daughter off for school, or I've got an hour where I can go for a quick run. So just letting you know, you can't book meetings on Tuesday and Thursday morning before nine o'clock because those are the two, the two hours that I have during the week to do my training because I really, really want to do this 10K in, in three months. These are all opportunities that we have to, to show and teach the people around us. And I, I just want to stress to you the importance of putting yourself first. And I'm coming to you from my garage because I just, <clears throat> it's early Thursday morning. And I just did this. I just put myself first. I had I get up really early, got up at 4.20 in the morning, did my morning pages, did some meditation, and then I had a choice. I could either spend an hour or two, not even, not even two, spend about an hour working on work. I got lots of work to work on. Or I could spend an hour and go for a run outside. Because it's the only hour that I'm gonna have to run. Because the rest of the day, interviews, with new hires, working on marketing, working on sales. Tonight I'm going to San Francisco for an event from six to nine. Like this, the whole day is packed from nine to nine. 
until I get home at 10.30, 11 o'clock today. I had this one hour and I had to choose between work one more hour or put myself first. And I'm so glad that I did because it's gonna make the rest of the day so much better. So, so that's, my, that's my question, that's my challenge to you is are you putting yourself first? You're putting yourself as the leader that your team wants you to be and needs you to be so that they can be the people that they want to be, okay? Um, so that's it, that's my message. Have an awesome day. Put yourself first. See ya.